HTML entities, HTML symbol, uh, HTML layouts, and after that, I will start the CSS part. I will give and I'm gonna give you the CSS brief introduction. If possible, I will start the some properties, some CSS properties. coming to our first topic that is iframes yeah. actually yesterday I have started this topic and got some methods. Okay, today I'm gonna teach you guys about uh, this complete. What is this iframe and everything? Generally, what is this iframe means? It is generally used to uh, display a nested web page, like a web page within a web page. Okay, and this HTML iframe tag defines an inline frame. So that's why we can call it this iframe as the inline frame also. Okay, let me give an example. Uh, and these coming to this G, uh, this iframe is defined with this iframe tag. Yeah, here. Okay, and here we are uh, using. Here we are using this. iframe tag okay. iframe and here we are uh, we are going to use this sr attribute which generally specifies the web at i mean web address okay let me do srs okay before that just print uh, just print this output of this symbol that html here i gonna go run in chrome so see this is the output now i want to print uh, this website, uh, this symbol dot HTML website in my new HTML. That is, uh, here I just want to print this symbol dot HTML website in this iframe dot HTML website. Okay. So here I'm going to give you the SRS that is symbol dot HTML. Okay. Now after that, you should close your iframe tag. Just run it in your Chrome. See, I'm sorry. We perfectly got. Generally, this is the website. This symbol dot I have accessed this symbol dot website in my new website that is iframe. Okay. See here, I got everything perfectly. Here, see we got. Uh, we have some things like I will display. I'm so uh, I'm a. And welcome to my old navigation skills and everything. I have created some uh, one website, okay, which is involved with some sections, header, and everything. Here I am going to print this website in this uh, iframe.html. See, welcome to my old navigation links and everything. Okay, this is the beauty of this iframe tag. Means here a website is printed within the web page. This is what an iframe tag means. Even you can access multiple websites. Let me give another URL. See, if you run this, this is an, another website. Now, in the, uh, here, I, I just want to access this website also in this iframe.html. Let me explain how we can do this. See, after iframe, we should give another iframe. Here, I'm going to specify the uh, address that is first.html. After that, you should close your iframe tag. See, I got both the websites. This website. And the navigation bar also works perfectly. Scrolling bar, sorry. This is a scrolling bar, this one. Everything works perfectly. This is what an iframe tag means. We can access one website 
within a uh, uh, within an uh, another website okay even here you can give some width and height also like uh, you can set the width and height of an iframe tag by using width and uh, height attributes by default um, uh, values generally specified in this section uh, but you can uh, you um, but you can also set them with the percentage like 50 percentage 60 percentage 100 percentage it's all about your wish okay let me give both height and weight with here i want to give height that is 300 and with also 300 you can print uh, your website in your uh, in some picture like uh, in your i mean uh, in some height and width format also see compared to before one uh, uh, now this website like now this uh, uh, this website is One second. Okay. Okay then. Yeah. See, uh, both height and width uh, applied perfectly. This is what I'm height and uh, width means. Even let me. Um, Put height and width for the second website also. You can give five hundred actually. Let me give in percentage. See, here height is some five hundred width completely. Like uh, here I gave width that is hundred percent. So we got width. Uh, completely this is what then iframe means means we can access one website within an within another website okay and even you can set both height and width also this is what generally a um, iframe tag means okay i hope everything is clear till now now i'm going to teach you guys about these symbols okay Let me comment all these things. Okay, now here I'm going to teach you guys about the HTML symbols. Like there are many uh, symbols like uh, technical and currency symbols, which are not actually present in our uh, normal keyboard. Like and and uh, we have to use uh, all. I mean, we have to. or uh, use html entity names to add such symbols to an html page okay um if there is no entity name exists then you can use some entity number or a decimal number or even a hexadecimal reference also as today we got some errors let me check now Symbols. Now, I want to print what symbol overall. Or uh, I want to print some partial differential. Let me check. I will print. And here, uh, your symbol should start with an ampersand. This is what an ampersand means. And for that, you should you can write uh, your code. Here, let me write um hash eight seven zero four, and followed by you should close your uh, code with this column. Here, uh, here I have printed this. What is this for all? For all symbol. I will print for all symbol. This is what symbol means. Even we, uh, even we can print uh, some other symbols also. Let me give two more examples. What should I print? 
here i just want to print some partial differential H706. Okay. Yeah. This is what um, partial differential. All these symbols, this for all symbol, this uh, partial differential uh, symbol, uh, actually uh, all these symbols are not present in our keyboard. But we can access. But if, if uh, see, uh, there are some mathematical formulas. Uh, these mathematical formulas. Uh, these symbols are involved in these mathematical formulas. So, uh, if at all, if you want to write any document, like if you want to uh, prepare any um, mathematic uh, mathematics uh, related websites, then uh, these these type of symbols are generally not present in our keyboard. In those situations, you can use these codes. Okay, generally these are all the codes like um, AMPS and hash eight eight seven zero four, which stands for for all. Like amps, I mean amp, um, amp percent for whatever eight zero eight seven zero six. This is uh, this is stands for the partial differential, and there are some other symbols also like empty sets. Let me print what is an empty set. Amp percent hash eight seven zero nine. Then followed by you should close your yeah. see this is what an empty set means okay so this is how we can print the print uh, mathematical symbols okay actually uh, I have uh, said that uh, these all all these mathematical formulas are not in uh, not present in our tool keyboard um, in that situations we can use these codes. Okay, like eight seven zero six eight seven zero seven. There are some other codes also, like eight seven one two one one three eight seven one five, which is uh, generally for contains as a member. And if eight seven eight seven one nine generally stands for an array product. Eight seven two one, which is stands for the sum uh, sum actually. I mean an array summation, everything. Okay, this is all about. This is all about the symbols in HTML. Okay, this is uh, using this HTML. We can uh, print our mathematical um, symbols which are generally not present in our normal keyboard. Okay, even you can use our HTML entity names. Let me uh, give one entity name. This generally these are all numbers. Even we can print our symbols using uh, entity names also. Like let me print this uh, for all symbol using entity name. Okay, I'm sent for all followed by hash. Here I got the I'm sent. I mean, sorry, here I got the for all symbol. This is even uh, we can access all these characters uh, using uh, number or even using entity uh, entity symbols or entity uh, entity names also. Okay. This is what a mathematical formulas. Okay. I hope everything is clear till now. Now I'm going to explain you guys about these HTML layouts. What is this HTML layout means? Uh, these HTML layouts provide a way to. Let me comment all this. What is this HTML me, uh, layouts means? These are all uh, provide a uh, way to arrange web pages in a well mannered and well structured and in a responsive form. Okay, I mean we can say that HTML layout specifies a way in which the web pages can be uh, arranged. Okay, and a web page layout works with this arrangement of these visual elements of in a HTML document. And and uh, this website layout is the most important part uh, to keep in your mind while uh, creating a website so that our website can appear professionally okay professional with the great look and 
uh, you can also use some css and javascript based on uh, frameworks for creating layouts for responsive and dynamic uh, website design okay generally every website has a specific layout to display content in a specific manner like uh, if you see uh, any if you if you can compare some um, some website if you compare uh, google website amazon website and some uh, w3 schools website both the um, structure both the layout and everything is completely different means every website has its a specific layout to display the content in a specific manner okay that that is the one real time uh, that is one real time example for this layout that every website has its own structure as has its own layout okay and uh, there are some uh, elements generally which are used to define these different parts of this uh, website okay the first one is generally header what is this header means it generally used to define a header for a document or a section okay in many websites if you see if you open any uh, tutorials point website or anything there is a header section okay that is what in a header section means it is generally used to define a uh, header for a document or a section okay and coming to followed by we have another element that is a nav element it uh, used to define the container for navigation links and followed by we have another tag that is the section tag it is used to define uh, section in a document we mostly use this section um, element okay in uh, if we have another uh, element also like that is an article uh, it is used to define um, an independent self contained article in many websites we can see that uh, there are if you see college website uh, then there is an article for our chancellor like uh, of our director and everything all uh, that type of content is actually designed by this article element only okay and followed by we have another uh, element that is an aside like it is generally um, used to define content aside from this content like a sidebar uh, like in many websites you can see that uh, um, there is some content which is actually present at uh, one side like actually right i mean here sorry uh this uh, right uh, here uh, in like a small box everything in that situations we can use this aside um, element and followed by we have an another element that is in a footer uh, like it is generally used to define the footer for a document or a section like if you see any college websites we have this footer section uh, generally in footer section uh, uh, we have some links uh, like uh, some copyrights everything i uh, these copyrights these some links uh, everything is generally involved in this footer section only like if you see any uh, i prep bytes i think so actually okay if you see any website there is a footer section uh, um, we have some copyrights we have some links and that those are all these things can be done by using this footer element only and followed by we have an another element that is in a details element it is uh, generally used to define some additional information additional details actually and we have an another element also uh, that is in a summary it is used to define the um, heading of the uh, heading for this details element okay this is all um, this is all the elements which are involved in our websites like which are uh, useful for our uh, web page layout okay i will explain uh, one by one the first one is we have first one uh, generally we have what is this header element what is this header element is this header element is generally used to create header section of web page okay uh, the header contains the introduction content heading element are uh, i mean uh, logos like uh, in many websites if you see some college websites uh, then we have a logo okay um, this logo is generally uh, we put this logo in this header part only and we have some uh, headlines like uh, even if you take your college name like rju pt like anything okay and um 
and some like in many websites we can see that uh, uh, logins um, like developer i mean sorry about a space and all these things are generally uh, we put in a header uh, header um, header section only okay header element only let me give an example this is the header tag in let me close in header tag i just want to write Welcome to the wall and followed by you should close your header tag okay now here uh, i just want to uh, write some style let me open my style tag i just want to give background color that is black and actually let me print put this thing see this one oh both are black okay here you should change your font color that is red yeah see here i got output uh, welcome to the bowl this is what the header section means in many web pages you can see that there is a header section if you see wt3 schools uh, there is a header section like here we have html hash uh, css php uh, like uh, python c hash c++ everything generally all those uh, things are actually done by using this header section only okay even if you add some yeah see we got everything perfectly this is what the header section means okay and followed by we have an enter tag that is in a navigation tag like uh, the navigation uh, element is uh, is the container for the main um, blocks of this navigation links okay it can contain links uh, for the same page or even other pages also okay uh, like uh, in i think so if you in many web pages we can see that if you click on one uh, if you click on this link then it will turns to i mean then it will uh, scroll down to another section all these things actually can done by using this navigation element only even uh, for sometimes this navigation element can turns to other pages also it's all about uh, your wish okay let me explain what is this navigation Okay. And followed by here, I just want to do navigation. Here, um, the tag is generally now. Now style. Here, I just want to write some style. That is background color same. That is here red. And after that, I just want to close my. in between this you should you can give some links navigation links like uh, here i just want to give link that is h r u hash means nothing okay see here we got link okay if at all if at all i click this link then it doesn't redirects to anything because here i gave that is a uh, hash okay this is what the navigation element means this navigation element is generally uh, is the container for the uh, main uh, block of this navigation links okay and followed by we have
Yeah. We have uh, another element that is in HTML section. This HTML section elements represent a separate uh, section of your web page, which contains a uh, related element group put together. And it contains some, uh, it contains even text, images, tables, videos, everything. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me give section. Let me give, let me add me some style. That is, here I just want to, no, I won't, I don't want to add anything. Let it be. Here, I just want to add an image. One is the dot shape. Okay. Now, here, let me close my image tag and followed by you should close your section tag. I got image perfectly. Even you can add some height and width for this section. Uh, like uh, here, you should open your style attribute. Height that is 100. Sorry. Yeah, I think so. This is hundred and hundred. This is what the section uh, element means. Uh, this section element generally represent a uh, separate section of your web page which contains, uh, I mean, some group related, I mean, some related element uh, group put together, like it may contain some text uh, type of uh, text type of information, like images, you may you may have uh, some videos, audios and tables and everything. And followed by another element that is an article, like this tag generally used to contain a self-contained article such as a big story, huge articles and everything. Here, right now, I don't have any article, so that's why here I'm not going to use any, uh, I'm not going to write this article there. Uh, but uh, the tag for this article is, this is, article, that's it. You can write your wish, okay? Uh, if you if you create any web page, uh, then there is an, uh, any info, then there is a, any information which is related to uh, some articles, uh, some big big uh, stories. Then uh, in that in those situations, you can use this article uh, tag. Okay. Followed by we have another tag that is an essay tag. I have already explained that uh, if at all there is any some content uh, generally uh, which defi define essay content related to primary content, then uh, this essay content must be related to the uh, primary content. Okay. Uh, it can uh, function as a sidebar for our uh, main content of, uh, for web page. If you see any uh, OLMS like ONB uh, type of sites, then there are some aside, um, aside defined, like aside content, okay? Actually, those things can be done by using this aside tag. And finally, lastly, we have what is this footer tag? Uh, what is this footer tag means? I uh, have said that uh, this footer tag uh, generally uh, defines the footer like at the end of a, end of the, uh, end for that uh, document of the web page. Um, like uh, it can it mostly contains the information about uh, uh, like developers, authors, uh, like even ha we have some copyrights like other uh, some links, everything. These are all these uh, things can actually done by using this footer symbol footer element only okay and finally we have what is this element uh, generally used to uh, use it with the details of this uh, element in a web page it used it as a summary captions about this contents of this details element all these things which are involved in this html layouts uh, if you uh, at least do practice on the one at least do practice on this layout then you may have one idea like how we can create a website or like a um, how generally sections are added. 
like in many web pages there are some web pages uh, we have like uh, only one page if you click it will turns to another page it will if, uh, there there are some links then if you click then it turns to another web page but there are some websites generally we have what is this scrolling bar like uh, like we have to scroll like this okay this is one complete web page like we have to scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down okay it depends actually um if you if you want to create that type of websites then these html layouts are very very important uh, mainly we, have, we can create uh, the all these sections by using this section element these are all about this html layouts okay i hope everything is clear till now this is all about the html part and till now i have explained the complete introduction about this html like what is html and i have explained uh, some text editors uh, which are in our html like uh, code i'm um, sorry uh, brackets uh, notepad notepad plus plus sublime everything and after that uh, i gave some what introduction about uh, building blocks like we generally we have two building blocks that is the tags and attributes uh, i have listed out i explained all almost all the important tags and i have explained all these attributes what is this attributes why we are using attributes and everything and followed by i have explained what is the elements and uh, and after that i have explained what is the, all this formatting tags and what is the heading uh like uh, we generally have some types in this heading like h1 h2 h3 h4 h until h6 and after that i have explained what is this paragraph tag and uh, even i have explained some phrase tags also okay and i have explained uh, like how to even give some links like use here we are give, we are using this uh, anchor uh, tag and uh, i have explained what is even hr if attribute and after that i have explained uh, like uh, how to give how to print images on our website even we can print large images like uh, based upon width and height uh, everything and followed by i have explained what is this table like how to create tables how to give rows columns um, headings and everything and uh, i have explained what is this list like uh, generally we have three, three types of list that is ordered list unordered list and description list uh like i have said that what is an order list what are all the types in order list i have explained what are all the types in an order list i have explained what is generally description list like we have b d d d and everything and further uh, followed by i have explained how to create in a, a, a form like uh, in many websites we can see that uh, uh, there is an a registration form uh, actually validation uh, validations are uh, validations are actually done by using this javascript only but i created one, only a basic form like a front end form how to even give check boxes uh, everything like um, username i mean sorry how to give in give our mail email email element i mean sorry email attribute uh, password attribute and everything i have explained what is uh, how to create a uh, form and further i have explained what is all these classes like how we can uh, how to use these classes and actual uh, these classes and ids both are used to uh, to css like if at all if you want to add some css properties to our website then you can use these classes and HD, uh, ids i have explained all of them and followed by i have given somewhat uh, some basic introduction about this css like how we can use this css there are three types actually we have indent css internal css and external css i explain what are all these uh, all these things like this is what an inline uh, css means i have explained uh, even what is uh, internal css this is what an internal css and followed by i have even explained uh, i think so i have noted explain what is an external css don't worry i will explain uh, all all those things in our css part and uh, after that i have explained um, i mean how to yeah, how to give comments everything i have explained uh, symbols like mathematical symbols like uh, that is for all even uh, some symbols uh, which are not even not even presented in our keyboard uh, like i have explained like how to use 
such type of how to print such type of symbol and i have explained uh, what is this uh, layouts and everything like uh, we generally how to create uh, if at all if you want to create in a big big website so then layouts are very very important based upon this layouts only your website looks effective and attractive and means well managed and well organized okay uh, um, this is all about uh, the um, i have I even explained about the even i frames also like if at all if you want to print uh, some other website in your website then you can use this i frame tag this is all about this html basics okay even there are some other tags also many when we have hundreds of tags uh, like i can't explain all those tags like uh, if you create many website if even we have uh, some other situations like uh, if at all if you want to add any video file audio file then just google them the, uh, we uh, there are some tags like uh, using video tag we can add your videos there are some uh, tags that is the audio okay i have uh, given some brief and basic introduction about this html part and now i am going to explain you guys i just here i just want to start this css part okay okay guys yes please do give response yeah okay and i will give some tasks okay which is completely related to html okay Okay, now I just want to start this CSS part without any delay. Okay, let me give some basic intro about this CSS. So, what is this CSS means? This CSS generally stands for cascading style sheet. Uh, this CSS is used to design HTML tag. Okay, this CSS is generally widely used language on the web technologies. and html and uh, html css javascript are used for web designing like it uh, helps the web designers to apply uh, some styles on the html tags what is the css means it is a style sheet language which is used to describe the um, look uh, and uh, formatting of a document uh, written in a markup language like written in a html language okay like it provides an additional feature to html it generally used with the html to change the uh, style of web pages and user interfaces it can also be uh, used with any kind of xml documents including uh, plain xml uh, like an xul everything okay and uh, these css is used along with this html javascript in most website uh, to create user interfaces for the web applications and user inter uh, faces for mob many mob mobile applications also okay and uh, you can add new links to your whole html document these are all these things uh, what uh, like uh, what does um, which are done by this css like you can add new links to your whole html documents and you can completely change the uh, look of your website with a uh, few changes in this uh, in css code okay and uh, even if you think like why we use this css why we are using this css means uh before css uh, tags like uh, what is this font um color background style element alignment uh, border and size had to be uh, repeated on every web page this was a very long process uh, for example if you developing a large website 
where fonts and color informations are uh, added on a sing every single page uh, it will become a long and expensive process so that's where we have created our css generally these css are created by world web consortium like uh, wtc recommendations okay and why we are so using this css means it saves a lot of time okay means css style definitions are saved in a external css file also it is possible to change this internal website by changing just one file what is this external css means uh, we are uh, writing all this property in a complete another css file this is what an external css file means and uh, there is an one more uh, use case that is it generally provides more attributes okay these css uh, provides more detailed attributes than a uh, plain html to define look and feel of this website so this is why we are using this css we are using it generally solves a big problem and it saves a lot of time like we are here we are uh, we have a facility that is we can create our external css file and uh, compared to uh, i mean compared to this uh, inline css uh, here we can add um, it will provide these more attributes okay this is why we are using this css and now here i'm going to explain you guys about this css selector mm, what is this css selector means these css selectors are generally used to select the um, content you want to style okay like selectors are the part of the css rule set and css selectors select html elements according to your id class type um, uh, what is this attribute and everything i have explained about this class and id like uh, using oh, i mean using those attributes only we can add some property to our css these are all those things we can call them i mean these things we can call them as in a css selector actually not only them we have some um, other types also like there are several uh, different types of selectors in this css like uh, the first one is css element selector and followed by we have another selector that is css id selector um css class selector css universal selector css group selector let me explain everything let me create okay see here first here i'm going to explain you guys about the css element selector what is this css element selector means this element selector um select the html uh, element by name let me explain sorry now here i'm going to create a uh, one simple paragraph tag that is hello friends let me close my paragraph tag here i just want to some uh, i just want to add some css properties to this uh, how paragraph tag here oh sorry i haven't created after that you should uh, open your style tag let me close my style tag okay now this is element means this is p what is this p uh, what is this uh, css element selector means here we are uh, adding some css properties uh, uh, based on this element tag here i'm um, here the element is here p here i just want to add what color so let me add color that is red font type 50 pixel 
and after that you should close your let me check yeah see here i got the output that is the hello friends means uh, i have given some css properties that is the color red and font size uh, 50 pixel okay both the properties are applied perfectly to this p element okay this is what um, i mean css element selector means even we can add uh, add this css properties on this uh, using this element tags also okay this is one type and let's, uh, let me explain another type that is in a css id selector i have explained uh, about this id id type like this id selector selects the id attribute of in a uh, uh, html element to select a specific uh, element okay and id is always been, uh, unique with the page so it is chosen to select a single or unique element okay uh, generally i have say, said that is uh, uh, written uh, with the hash character okay uh, followed by this um, id of this element let me explain here let me create one header then let me give my id that is a okay sorry hash what is this id it's a sorry a right color blue see i got the wall in a blue color format this is what an id uh, format means like uh, this id selector um, selects the id attribute of this html element to select uh, uh, some specific content here we can uh, written this id using this uh, hash uh, followed by this id of this uh, element okay this is an, another type okay and generally we have uh, some other types also like that is an a css class selector um even you are familiar with this class selector like i have explained i have created i have used these css class selector many times let me explain once again what is this css class selector means this css class selector selects the html elements with a specific class attribute okay it is used uh, with a period uh, character like uh, here uh, we are using this full stop uh, symbol followed by the class name okay let me give an example. What is it? Class. Okay. Let me even that is B. Class name that is B. Now let me close and I have already explained that uh, how we can mention class that is dot the full stop symbol. Sorry, B right. Okay. Now font style that is. Green. Here I got one is uh, in a italic format and with a green color. This is what a CSS class selector means. Like uh, this class selector selects HTML elements with a specific class attribute. Okay, here specific class attribute. And it generally used uh, with a full stop symbol, okay, followed by this class name. This is gender. Uh, this is all about um, CSS class, CSS ID, and CSS element. Followed by we have another uh, um, another element that is uh, another element that is the CSS class. Sorry. One 
one second like yeah in css class we have another type that is a css class selected for specific element here uh, i may create some other class okay let me give css here let me open my tab here i am giving same class let me close my h1 I got uh, this output in also a same format, like uh, in a italic format with a green color. This is generally what uh, this is generally what this CSS is selected for. The, uh, one second. Class with specific element. Okay. Okay. Like, uh, what is this uh, CSS class with selected with for a specific element means? Like, if you want to specify that only one specific HTML element um, should be affected, uh, then you can use this H then you can use this element name with this class um, class selector okay let me explain like uh, here right here here i just want to um, here okay let me give class same name that is b is now let me close my printout now here let me print here i just uh, here i'm going to create some css properties now here i just want to add uh, uh, all these properties to the specific element only to specific uh, p class b something uh, like a hsusf hf uh, hsusf element only python element only now uh, here you can uh, how we can do this list uh, we can create by using like uh, we can you know, like we, how we can create the, this list that element should be okay then i'm sorry one second first of all let me print then only i can explain here what is this tag followed by we have what class and class I just want to add that. Hello. you can clearly see that the difference between outputs like uh, one is the uh, i mean one is the i mean you can clearly see the difference between one is the and varun like uh, this output is generally printed in a yellow format but uh, coming to this uh, varun they generally printed in a italic and a green format like because here i gave that is uh, here uh, i have i have added all these css properties is p tag with the class b so what is here p tag p tag means here this one right like one is a and uh, class b means this like uh, in this way like if at all if you want to add uh, add all your css properties uh, to that uh, specific uh, element only like uh, in your uh, website you may created many uh, many tags with the, with the same class in those situations you you want to add uh, your css properties to that uh, specific tag then you can give your tag followed by i mean then you can uh, mention your cs uh, attribute i mean sorry c uh, attribute that is class followed by your tag okay this is what generally css class selected for specific element and followed by we have an another uh, element that is generally css universal selected 
what is the css universal selector means this css uh, universal selector is generally used as a uh, wild card character like it selects all the elements on the pages let me explain What is where is the star star? Yeah. Here I just want to apply style what. Style font size. Let me add font size. Font size that is fifty pixel. all the elements are printed in a same format this is what the universal selector means like if you want to uh, there are some properties like if you want to uh, add if you want to add all, all your css properties to all the tags then you can use this uh, universal selector okay this is how you can mention like star means universal right like even if you in python also like um, if, if, if when we are working with this modules we have imported even we can imported all our modules with this star symbol okay like in python if at all if you want to add all your css properties to all this html uh, tags then you can use this star universal and followed by we have another tag that is in a css group selector uh, what is this css group selector means this uh, the grouping selector is generally used to uh, select all the elements with the same style definitions okay like uh, grouping selector is generally used to minimize the code uh, in some we have uh, some situations like uh, um, there are some uh, tags there are uh, different different types of tags that is head one head two and uh, paragraph tag and uh, different tags but uh, for all the stats uh, the css properties is same like uh, if you want to print uh, the font uh, the font size that is um, 10 pixel and with the color green and there are uh, some other tags that is h3 h4 h5 for all those tags if at all if you want to add color green and font size that is 20 pixel like in those situations we can use this css group selector what is this grouping i mean uh, it generally groups okay uh, well, and is grouping selector generally used to minimize the code okay let me explain here uh, commas are used to separate the each selector in grouping okay let me delete all this first now here um let me create another heading file that is h2 to that is what names about well let me give h3 that is cat or h4 dog h5 Yeah, okay, then. Okay, now here I have created uh, four more tags uh, that is H2, H3, H4, and H5. Let me create another paragraph tag uh, that is grapes. Let me close my paragraph tag. Here I have created some tags that is uh, H2, H3, H4, H5, and uh, p here i just want to uh, add a uh, color uh, green to h2 h4 and paragraph tag and here i just want to add color uh, blue to h3 h5 okay let me delete this code okay yeah okay Let me delete this also. Okay, I have deleted everything. Now what? 
here i just want to add h2 h4 paragraph tag to green okay let me explain what is grouping uh, selector means what h2 right h2 h4 and paragraph tag i just want to add color that is b mm, you should close your tag and what h3 h5 right Five color blue. Sorry, blue. Okay, let me see. We got the out output perfectly. Like ball, dog, and grapes are in one color. Cat and apple, eh, they both are in one color. This is what this grouping uh, CSS means. Even uh, in many in some situations, uh, we have some situations like. Uh, we may create many tags but uh, we have some situations like uh, we have to apply all this property or uh, uh, i mean some css properties to some css i mean some html tags and some css properties to some uh, html tags in those situations we can use this css group selector this is how this is what a grouping selector means here uh, tags are generally separated with the comma okay even uh, you can write any uh, any uh, css properties like font size font family font i mean uh, font style everything okay this is generally what the css selector means okay yeah, uh, yeah okay these are all these types in the css uh, have explained all these css um, selectors like uh, css element selector uh, like even we can add all our properties using the um, using the CSS element also. I have explained what is an ID selector also. Like even uh, you can add all your CSS properties using ID character. We generally mention with the hash followed by your uh, element name. And we have an another type that is a CSS class selector. Uh, here uh, we just mentioned with this dot. Here we are using some class attribute. And uh, if at all, if you want to uh, add your pro add your CSS properties to complete website, then you can use your universal selector. Uh, even uh, if you have, if you want to add some CSS properties to some CSS tag and some CSS properties to some other uh, HTML tag, then you can use this CSS group selector. Okay, this is generally what this CSS selector means. One second. Okay, let me clear. Let me delete all this. Okay. Now here I want to explain you guys about and one another uh, important topic that is how to add CSS. Okay. I have given some basic intro about this uh, how to add CSS like uh, we can add our CSS in three types inline CSS, internal CSS, external CSS. I have explained each and everything but I have uh, gave only a little intro about let me give some basic introduction about all these CSS um, types and um, let me explain uh, disadvantages also okay. Coming to our first uh, one that is then inline CSS like we can apply CSS to our HTML document using this inline format also. I will explain what is this inline format. Don't worry if you forget let me I will give an example. Uh, what is this inline CSS means we can apply CSS in a single element uh, by inline CSS technique. Body. Now, let me give, let me define one tag that is h1. Let me close. See, one guy is printed successfully. Here, I just want to add some CSS properties in a inline format. Here, you should open some style tag and um, let me give. This is what inline CSS means. Okay, here all CSS properties are applied in a uh, in a single element. Okay, uh, the inline CSS is also a. Let me 
here and out. This one is printed in a yellow color form. Okay. Uh, this inline CSS is also a method to insert style sheets in HTML document. Okay. And this uh, and there are some advantages even in in using this um, inline CSS and there are some disadvantages also. Okay. Let me uh, explain some disadvantages. Like, uh, let me explain what is the advantage. Like, uh, if at all, if you want only a few CSS attributes, then you don't need to uh, define any internal or external CSS. You can even add. Uh, you can you you can add all these properties in a single element. In those situations, we can this uh, inline CSS is useful. And coming to the disadvantages of this inline CSS, you cannot uh, use quotations with this this uh, within inline CSS. Okay, if you use quotations, that the browser will interpret this as an end of uh, your style value. And the most disadvantage, uh, the main disadvantages is these styles cannot be reused anywhere else. Okay, even if you if you uh, create uh, if you create your CSS file in internal or external format, then those things are uh, reused. But coming to this inline CSS, uh, here um, we cannot reuse this code. Okay, we can't apply the same code to any another format. And Another disadvantage is um, these styles are tough to be edited because they are not stored in a sing uh, they are not stored in a single place. Okay, these are all the, some these are all these uh, disadvantages uh, in the in the CSS. Okay, better to use some internal or external CSS. But mostly external CSS is okay, useful. Like even if you work in a big big projects, an external CSS is useful. And followed by we have another uh, CSS format that is an internal CSS. What is this internal CSS mean? Uh, this internal uh, style sheet is used to add a unique style of a single document. It is designed in a head section of this HTML page uh, inside this HTML tag. Till now I have created many CSS. Um, I think so. I have deleted it. Sorry, I have deleted. Okay. Then now, what we have done is the type of this internal CSS only. Like I uh, have opened one. Um, open my head tag. Like uh, in between this uh, head tag, I have opened one style tag. Let me close my style tag. Yeah. I wrote some code in between this style tag. This is what an internal CSS means. Okay, uh, these it is generally defined uh, in this uh, head section of our HTML page. Okay, and inside these style tags, uh, I have uh, wrote some code that is uh, head one. background color that is black yeah see this is what the internal css means okay i uh, put body color this is uh, all all this complete space this body also I have uh, gave that uh, body color that is, I mean, sorry, background color that is uh, black. So I got uh, the output in a black color for me. This is what this inner, uh, internal CSS means. That means uh, this internal uh, CSS is used to add a unique style for a single document. And I have said that uh, generally defined in the head section. Uh, of our page and inside this um, H, I mean style open and close it tags. And finally, we have that final that is external CSS. What is this external CSS means? The external style sheet is generally used when you want to make changes on multiple pages. Okay, it is ideal for this condition because it facilitates you to 
change the look of the entire website by changing just one file okay this is what an external file means if, if you work on big big projects then you should use this external css okay like uh, generally html code is very very large like if you work on big big projects then uh, if you use any inline css then it may be clumsy okay then the code looks also ugly okay and it's not well organized well managed so you should use these external css there and uh, these external css is generally used the link tag on every pa uh, in every pages and the link tag should be put inside this head section only okay and uh, these external css uh, these external css may be written in any uh, text editor but must be saved with a dot css extension only you should keep in your mind that generally all html uh, i mean all html programs are generally uh, i mean saved in a dot html format and coming towards this css uh, it must be uh, saved with the dot css extension only okay and the file uh, and another most important thing is in css uh, the file should not contain any html elements okay let me give an example let me create a new css file yes body now you should save Yeah, here we have one thing. Yeah, okay. First step, CSS. I have wrote some code that is uh, body that is background color black, text style and center. Now, let me delete all these internal CSS. Okay. Now here, I just want I just uh, want to attach both these uh, HTML and first dot CSS. Okay. How we can do is let me explain. You can delete all this HTML style tag. You can give here. You have to use this link tag link, and here we have to use this rel attribute that is style sheet. Style sheet, and followed by we have type that is text or CSS. Here I'm going to give link that is first dot CSS. Let me close. One second. Yeah, okay. Yeah. See, I got the output perfectly. Like uh, here in the first dot CSS, I gave background color that is where it is. Yeah, background color that is uh, black and text color that is center. So here we have the uh, here it, you know, I got the output that is background color black and the text uh, it, uh, it actually printed in at the center. Okay, this is what in an external CSS means. Here you can uh, use this link tag uh, on every pages and um, the link tag should be put inside this head section. And here we are going to use then a real I mean a real uh, attribute. This is what uh, inline CSS, I mean uh, internal CSS and external CSS. You can use uh, any type depends on okay depends on your use case. Okay, and finally the last topic that is CSS comments. Uh, what is this? Uh, CSS comments are generally written to explain your code. Like it is very helpful for the users who reads your code. Okay. After you after you designing your website, uh, you may put your, all your code in a GitHub. Okay. Then you post your uh, then you push your code in your GitHub. If you uh, not provide any uh, comments, then your code may be clumsy. Like uh, the reader may uh, may not understands your code. In those situations, the comments are very helpful. 
uh, using the comments only gives a brief introduction about your code okay um like uh, see if you work on a big big projects then only you can understand like uh, uh, you, um, you can understand the value of these comments okay it mostly helpful for the users who read your code so that only they can understand the code very easily and uh, then the most thing is generally these comments are ignored by the browsers okay this is let me explain how we can use comments okay here is star okay and followed by dot 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 this is what the comments means in the in between this you can write anything uh, like uh, i am adding properties to sorry body tag okay uh, like uh, here i gave one uh, i uh, here i gave some uh, like introduction about uh, like here i gave some information like what is my css code uh, defines okay this is generally what this comments means uh, comments are very very important uh, if you work on a big big projects okay i've explained uh, what are these html comments and now i have explained what is the css comments this is all about the introduction about the css and uh, i'm going to, and further i will explain you guys about the css properties that is css uh, border css there are many properties font size font family font weight um, colors border background and background color margins uh, filters uh, images many more okay i will explain all of them this is all for today's lecture okay i will stop share sir yes sir so this is all for today's lecture yeah sure sir okay okay guys you can leave now